Hey guys, so I had someone ask about um, anchor tags and how you would use them on a Squarespace website. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys how you would do that. Um, first off, I'll show you what an anchor tag is. So let's say I go onto my About Us page, right? And I just put in random text for now. Now I have a section that says more about us. So let's say I want somebody to come straight to, straight to this section. They don't even need to see this part. So for example, on the home, on the home page, there's a section that says more about us, right? So let's say this page, uh, let's say it was called services and you have different services and you want a button on your home page that takes you directly to that service on this one page. So here's what you could do. So this is a button that I'm using an anchor tag on. So if I click it, it'll take them straight to the more about us. Okay, so it scrolls down for you. So I'm just going to show you one more time. So click on more about us, takes straight to the about page and scrolls down to the more about us section right over here. So I'll show you how to do this, okay? So the first thing you're going to need to do, you're going to come to the page that you want people to go to. So for, for me, it's the About Us page. Go ahead and click Edit. We're going to go down to where you want people to kind of land on the page. So I wanted them to land here. Uh, so what you'll notice is, you see how here, this is a heading number three, and it's in one of those text blocks. This is actually different. It's a code block. So let me actually show you what I did here, okay? Let me delete this and re-add it. So before what I had was more about us, and then this was a header number two, right? So with the code block, um, what I like to do is I like to actually take out the title or like any text and put it in with the code for the um, code block. So it would look kind of like this. I'll go ahead and add a block here, scroll down to code, or you can just type up here code. So the code block comes up. And then in here where it says hello world, we're going to take out hello world and put in whatever we want. So I wanted it to say more, more about us, right? And right now it's the P on the side shows that it's a paragraph. So it'll match the text that's in the text block. I want it to be a header number two. So let's make it header number two. And we'll close header number two. So now it looks exactly like the header here, right? Now we'll give it an ID. So an ID is... It's very unique, right? So you don't want to use the same ID more than once. Um, so if you use an ID here, use the same one. Um, don't use the same one again, okay? So I'm going to make it ID is equal to uh, learn more. So the thing about IDs is you don't want to put any special characters in there like exclamation marks and stuff. Um, it just makes things messy. If And don't put spaces, right? Don't, don't put anything like this. Use a hyphen instead. Don't use an underscore because search engines don't really... Well, now they kind of can, but it's best not to use an underscore because uh, they don't detect it as a word separator. So use a hyphen instead. Okay, so it looks like this. And then go ahead and copy the ID that you used. Okay, so apply, save. Okay, so now what I'll show you, if I go to the top of this page and I can put in, let's say, a button, right? And in that button, I'll make it, yeah, learn more. And then click through, I'll actually put under external. I'll actually put a little um, hashtag slash pound sign, and then I'll paste in my t ID, right? So it will learn more. Uh, don't do open in a new tab, unless you wanted to, of course. Go ahead and hit apply, hit save. So now it takes us straight to this more about us page, right? But the thing is, that's, that'll only work if it's on the same page, because what, it, what the browser does is it looks for an ID called learn more anywhere on this page to go to, right? So if I did the same thing on the home page, it wouldn't actually work because there is no ID called uh, learn more on the home page. So what we actually have to do is tell it that it's on a different page. So if I look at this button, it looks, so the other one looked like this, right? All I did was add slash and then about us. So the slash tells it that it's a different page. So it's a, it's, it's a page called about us. And where I got that about us was when I click on this little gear icon, the slug. So the URL slug is slash about us. So here, I'm going to put slash about us. And then on this about us page, it's an ID called learn more. So And then that'll cause it to go to the next page. And it doesn't have to be like a button. It can be like a word, right? So if you want this word, you just put slash about us. And then hashtag learn more. Hashtag or pound, whatever you guys like to call it. And then go ahead and hit save. So now this we will take people to this page to the uh, more about us um, section. Now the other thing is um, like if I go to the very top and I click learn more, it just comes down here really quickly. 
Um, sometimes you want to stall that out to maybe two or three seconds. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. That's called smooth scrolling. So we'll go back to the main menu, go to settings, advanced, code injection. Let's go ahead to my website and I'm just going to copy this script here. So everything that's in this video is also, I have it as a blog post just so if you're, you know, at work or you can't watch a, watch a video for some reason, you can quickly go through instructions. I'll include the link to that in the description as well. So right now, so here's where I put the code, okay? So I went to settings, advanced, code injection, and then in the actual header section, okay? So I had some stuff in here for my the chat widget from before. So uh, you'll probably come in here and it'll be empty. So let's go ahead and make a new line and paste in what you copied on my website. So it looks like a lot of fancy code. All it does is kind of slow down the, the actual animation of that. So right now it's set to one second. So let's make it three seconds just to kind of exaggerate it. So this is a millisecond, so 3,000 milliseconds, which is uh, three seconds. So I'll save, this will refresh. Now if I go to the very top and click this, look at that, it takes three seconds. And then if we try, for example, two, I mean, you can put in 2,500 or 2,570, kind of do whatever you want there and then click here there we go now the cool thing about this is let's say you're running like a Google ad or Facebook ad and you want you know people to come straight to the section you can actually put uh, for example let's see here I'm gonna come in here if not an admin so let's say about us learn more so you can use this link so just add about us slash learn more to your main website and it'll actually take people, and it might not work just because it's, uh, yeah, okay, I'll have to, because it's because I'm logged in. Trust me, guys, it does work. So let's go new incognito, then it might work. So let's give that a shot. So since I'm not logged in, visitor access, CPG, because it's not, uh, my website's not live, that's why. So there we go. So it takes people straight to this section. So you can run ads, you can, you know, you can share it on Facebook that, you know, come to this section. So instead of actually telling people, oh, go to this page, come to this section, you can just give them a link that'll take them straight there. So, I mean, you can have as many anchor tags as you want. Um, you can link pictures if you want. So if, you, if I wanted, I could go click on this picture, edit this picture, click through, so make sure it says external. And since it's on the same page, it's just right below, I can actually just put um, the learn more. I don't need the slash about because I'm already on the about page, right? So if people click on a picture, it'll take them to the about. Okay, one second there. There we go. So I just had to refresh the page before it would have started working. From from the about page, let me just leave and come back. So if they click on the picture, it'll take them straight down to the more about us. So you can kind of play around with it. Pretty much anywhere that you can put links, you can um, make it into anchor tags. So buttons, text, um, headings, um, just anything you want, okay guys? So just quick summary, just uh, click edit, go to the place you want to add um, the actual scroll, put in a code block, and then in the code block, give it a unique ID that you don't give anything else. Make sure it comes before the closing um, arrow there, and then you can go ahead and link to it from anywhere, okay? So if you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask me. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button just so I can keep helping you guys and you'll get notified when I send out new videos, okay? Thanks.